Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa departed today for Bahrain after concluding an official visit to the United Arab Emirates. During the visit, His Royal Highness met the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, affirming the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the UAE. Wide-ranging discussions, including ways to further strengthen bilateral cooperation across various areas were held. The leaders addressed various regional and international developments and issues of mutual interest. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and a number of Bahraini ministers and senior officials. The UAE's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan and a number of senior Emirati officials attended the departure ceremony. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a cable of appreciation to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, expressing thanks and appreciation for the hospitality His Royal Highness and his accompanying delegation received in the UAE. His Royal Highness commended the outcomes of the meetings held with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed that affirmed the mutual interests of the two countries to develop cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness wished the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi abundant health and success and the people of the UAE further success and prosperity. The Council of Representatives held its weekly meeting today chaired by its speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah. The Council approved the issuance of a statement regarding the speech delivered by the High Commissioner for Human Rights that contained lies and fabrication against the Kingdom. The Council approved a draft law of establishing and organising a Bahraini Fisherman's Fund and referred it to the Shura Council. It also approved a draft law regarding the amendment of Article 11 of Decree 16 of 2002 concerning the Office of Financial and Administrative Control and referred it to the Shura Council. A draft law regarding the amendment of some provisions of the Criminal Procedures Law of Decree 46 of 2002 was approved and referred to the Shura Council. A proposal regarding the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism's examination of poultry and imported eggs to ensure they are free of bird flu was approved and referred to the government. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa officially announced yesterday at the United Nations headquarters in New York the launch of Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa's Global Award for Women's Empowerment. Participation in the award's first session will be open during this year in recognition of achievements by establishments in the public and private sectors or individuals to support the development role of women as well as to ensure the highest degrees of economic participation and social stability. This came during the address of the Kingdom of Bahrain presented by the Minister of Foreign Affairs on behalf of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, at the 61st session of the Commission on the Status of Women held at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The Minister stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, affirms its backing to United Nations' efforts to safeguard international security and peace. This is in addition to backing national efforts to achieve comprehensive and sustainable development of countries as well as to enable all to fulfil their international obligations and implement development action agendas for a more stable, secure and prosperous world. He expressed looking forward to supporting the activities of the Commission on the Status of Women aimed at achieving a balance between equality and the empowerment of women and girls in line with the membership of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the Commission for the next four years, as well as the Executive Office of the United Nations for the coming two years. The launch of Her Royal Highness Princess Sevika's Global Award for Women Empowerment 
is a result of the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women to highlight achievements that reflect the progress of the status of women at the national level, as well as publicizing best practices that are active in enhancing the status of women globally in an effort to achieve development goals related to reaching gender equality. Addressing the 61st Commission on the Status of Women session, UN Under Secretary General and Executive Director of UN Women delivered a speech highlighting Bahrain's continuous initiatives to support women's status. Um, I thank the Kim Kingdom of Bahrain for this award that will motivate and recognize champions on women's uh, empowerment globally. Um, this is not the first time that uh, uh, there has been an initiative like this from Bahrain. Ten years ago, uh, an award was launched to empower women within its own borders, and now this is going uh, uh, beyond. The fact that this is focusing on Planet 50-50 by 2030 makes it a forward-looking initiative, which I hope will encourage the implementation of Agenda 2030 and the sustainable development, because it is our desire to collaborate with private sector, with civil society, with states, with academia, with individuals, to ensure that by, indeed by 2030, we have achieved a gender equality. Also addressing the session, Supreme Council for Women Secretary General Hala Al Ansari extended sincere thanks to the UN Women for adopting the prestigious initiative as one of the successful practices that contribute to strengthening women's status at the international level. Uh, building on the success of the national award, the global award was further developed in line with international standards and practices with the overall aim to highlight the importance and impact of the commitment of governments, private sector, civil society, in addition to individuals to, ad to adopt non-discriminatory policies against women achieve justice between women and men in various fields, show appreciation to institutional and individual efforts, initiatives, and projects to target mainstreaming women's needs, encourage communities to stimulate their intellectuality and creativity in the field of women empowerment in order to achieve for women, their family and community, more social strength and economic prosperity. And finally, to reaffirm the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitments towards empowering women to lead national efforts toward the achievement of sustainable development. The award aims to ensure commitment to adopt non-discriminatory policies against women. The opportunity to compete for the award is open to public, private and civil society institutions and individuals across the globe. An integrative rescue team was in action at the Bahrain International Airport this morning to hold a full-scale emergency drill which involved the simulation of an emergency landing by an Airbus A320. This drill is the 15th of its kind and is held every two years. More details now in this report from Mohammed al Shaban. Bahrain International Airport concluded a full-scale emergency drill in a record one hour and 20 minutes on Tuesday morning. The drill is the 15th of its kind and is held once every two years to assess the readiness of the airport in case of emergencies. Over 700 representatives of various private and public organizations took part in the exercise, which involved a simulated scenario of responding to an emergency aboard an Airbus A320 and witnessed a collaboration of emergency responders from different hospitals and the civil defense, the purpose of which was to test and assess the capabilities, readiness and effectiveness of these rescue services. This drill is the 15th of its kind. We do it based on international regulations, which Bahrain is abiding by. The number of firemen was over 45 and 10 vehicles, 12 ambulances. We also had two helicopters, but couldn't use them because of the weather. The National Guard were also involved in evacuating passengers. Civil Aviation, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Information Affairs are also involved, as well as Gulf Air. The emergency scenario involved actors who played the role of injured passengers inside the burning plane. The rescue team had to assess and classify the injured while collaboratively working on investigating and controlling the crisis. 
This exercise comes as a testament of the kingdom's keenness to ensure its readiness in case of accidents and mishaps here at Bahrain International Airport and comes in line with the directives of the kingdom to ensure the safety and security of the citizens and residents. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as Bahrain All Shares Index closed at 1,374.57 points, marking an increase of 3.73 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, hotels and tourism and industrial sectors. And investors traded mainly in the industrial sector, representing 65.74% of the total value of shares traded. 62 transactions included 3,361,431 shares worth 1,053,661 Bahraini dinars. More than 100 representatives from small and medium enterprises recently attended an entrepreneurship forum event in the Gulf Hotel to learn about the importance of sound financial importance and management to enable business growth. More of this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Since sound accounting and finance systems are the backbone of any successful business, a half-day event was held today, shedding light on KPMG Bahrain's new technology, the enterprise accounting solution, designed to make financial management processes simpler and more effective. The solution is an innovative technology that puts business owners in control, where users will no longer need to spend time or resources managing receipts and invoices. They can simply take pictures of expenses with a smartphone and send them to dedicated accountants through an online tool. This gives entrepreneurs up-to-date information about their performance, which is accessible via smartphones and portable devices at any time. Pulling out my phone and I open the software which is a dashboard and I can look at all the money I made today, all the money that I spent today, all my receivables, payables, all of that information is furnished to me. Attendees also had the opportunity to hear views on the importance of accounting and challenges faced by enterprises during the panel discussion between members of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Bahrain Development Bank and Tamkeen. They will have a complete system to support the SMEs and it will reduce the cost because you have to pay only a minimum as minimum as 100 BD uh, to do your accounting and then you will have maybe someone to do your physical inventory with, if it's retail. So it will be a complete accounting system and it will be a plus for all entrepreneurs. The seminar included a live demonstration session on the solution and featured case studies and testimonials from local businesses highlighting how having instant access to accurate financial information has helped them to take the best decision at the best time, enabling their business success. Running your own business can be very rewarding, but ensuring your finances are well managed can be a challenge. Since sound financial management is the foundation of any successful business, the development of a full enterprise accounting solution for the first time at the GCC is taking efficiency to a whole new level. Reporting for Bahrain International, Ahiba Abdul Ghaffar.